Bubba, you can't be doing that this entire time. Bubby, please. What's up, guys? Blue is currently trying to, uh, I hid one of his toys and he's trying to get it. What's new? Happy holidays, everybody. What did everybody do? Where's everybody tuning in from? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. You guys have found two gray hairs today. Two on the same day. That's got to be some form of horrible punishment. That's some sort of bad karma catching up with me. Know what I mean? Two gray, two gray on the same day? It was Christmas yesterday. Rhode Island. Hi from, from Guam. Holy cow, that's so far. Sparta, Michigan. Nice. Hi, guys. Hi from Washington, Canada, Montana. Bubby, come. Lay down. We're not going to do that this whole time. Lay down. Down. Good boy. This dog. North Carolina, New Mexico. Greater up is Michigan. You in my hometown. Hi from Chicago, Maine. Oh my gosh, there's a few of you in Maine. Hi guys. Hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. Iowa, Flint. Don't drink the water. No, I'm just kidding. No, really don't drink the water. <laughs> you guys, I'm um my mom always makes fun of me because every once in a while, like when I haven't been around people enough. I get really weird where like I don't know how to talk to people and I'll start thinking like really random stuff is super funny when it's not just cause, like I've been alone in the woods too long and I'm feeling like that so where is blue blue is here where where is he he's he's pouting I just made him lay down because he's been playing all day with this little Christmas tree toy I got him for Christmas and um, it's really like noisy. And so I put it on the counter and he's mad at me for taking it away from him. So he's like pouting and trying to find it. You have the social skills of a four-year-old. I feel like that too. Florida, UK, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. Hi guys. Man, there's so many of you in Grand Rapids. I'm surprised I haven't seen you guys when I go home. I am still in Alaska. Yes, I am. Her cooking skills are of a four-year-old, too. You know what? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, so... Blue update? Um, blue update. Okay. Um, blue is still in chemo and um, he is currently on a holiday break for chemo um, because his blood counts were getting so low that the vet and I kind of decided that he needed to take a few weeks off just so we could get his uh, white blood cell count up because it was tanking kind of and then he was like yeah, he was not doing so hot for a minute there. So we're just kind of giving him like a little breather and then he's going to restart chemo in January. It's only going to end up being like two weeks off of his protocol, but he's doing good. He's just, the way the vet describes Blue is that he's like the most sensitive dog to chemo ever. Like anytime there's a, a you know what, when you guys see commercials, <laughs> it's like a, medication it's like side effects may include and then it's like 10,000 things that could possibly happen to you that never actually do blue always gets every single random side effect that's possible so we just have to be a little bit careful with him with chemo because he's very very sensitive but other than that he's good he's on a little break all that to say also look at my t-shirt This is not, you know what? This chair doesn't feel that sturdy. Watch me just wipe out in the middle of this live. I have been to New Hampshire. I did not have uh, success camping in New Hampshire. 
Hi, Shannon. My brother's in here. What kind of camera do I use? I use several. I have a Sony a7 IV with a Tamron 17 to 35 lens on it. I think that's what I have. I have a GoPro Hero 10, and then I have D DJI uh, Air 2S. And then I also have, a, um, what do I have? What do I have? I forget what it's called. The little Insta360, but I rarely use that. I was editing um, the, sorry, I'm like trying to read and talk at the same time. This is difficult for me. Um, I, I've been editing the first video for 2024. And I, the thing about editing yourself is like you just, you pick up on all of your annoying habits because you just are watching yourself constantly. And I never notice how much I go, <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. I had to cut out like 40 of them in this new video. I was like, dang girl, do you say anything else? Stop laughing. It's not that funny. What's your favorite song? Oh, too many. Give me a category. Good evening. Leave them in, Christian. I can't, the whole video would be me like cackling. How do you keep your hair so healthy? You guys are so nice about my hair. I really don't do anything to it. Uh, I use Garnier Fructis or whatever cheap shampoos on sale and I just roll with it. So, yeah. You're in Fairbanks and negative 12. Do you like Tate McRae? It's so funny you asked that because I just, thank you, Derek. Oh my gosh, you're so nice. I just uh, found out who she was like two days ago. And I've been watching some of her videos and interviews ever since. And yeah, I like her. She seems awesome. Angela, thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys are so nice. You don't have to give me money, but thank you. Hey, I know exactly what you're doing. And it's going to be a no from me. Why did why choose to travel Alaska in the winter? Because Blue is in chemo up here, so I have to stay up here until he's done. Do you like Taylor Swift? I would give my life for her any day of the week. <laughs> yeah. How long am I staying here? I don't know. At least until February, but possibly longer. It all depends on Blue and his chemo because I will do anything for this dog. So until the vet gives me come on come until the vet gives me clearance and is like yes you are safe to travel with blue outside of the state and he no longer needs chemo i will be here so if everybody gets sick of alaska content i'm sorry i'm just trying to save my dog <laughs> will i marry you i will not what made you choose chemo in alaska versus any other state um so it was kind of like half timing half Blue got diagnosed with cancer when we were already coming up to Alaska. Uh, we were already planned to, <laughs> to come here to travel. And um, he just uses me. Um, we were already planning to come up to Alaska to travel and then Blue got diagnosed with cancer. Right, like I had already booked our boat ticket to come up here and it was like, I think a week or two before we left. And, um, so I was going to cancel the entire Alaska trip. I, I don't know what I was going to do, but I was like, okay, if Blue is dying, then I like all bets are off. I'll shut down this YouTube channel. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like this dog is my main priority. And, um, the vet who first treated him was like, you can go to Alaska. I have a friend up there. Like she knew the vet that was up here and she was like, he's really good, really talented. You should call him and see if you could get in there because then you could still do your travels in Alaska while getting treated. And so basically I called the oncologist up here in Alaska and I love him. I, lo I love that man. He is such an angel and such a scientist. And yeah, so basically I just, was coming up here anyway, happened to work out that they have a fantastic, 
why was I just choking? Oncologist up here. And anyways, he did warn me once we started chemo. He was like, once you start, you can't stop. So you're gonna be here for like four months if you start. And I was like, yeah, I mean, the dog needs chemo. So let's do it, you know? Long story. Yeah, isn't this cute? Cena sent it to me for Christmas. And then I bought him AAA for Christmas <laughs> because he keeps breaking down. Oh my gosh, thank you. I will get blue some treats with that. Where to after Alaska? It's a secret, guys. I'm not gonna tell anybody. It's just gonna be like a random video. It's just gonna be like, bam, I'm out of Alaska and somewhere random. How much is chemotherapy? Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. It is so expensive. It's like, it depends on the treatment your dog gets. There's so many different variations of it. Um, but for blues, I'm trying to, hold on, let me calculate something really quick. Where's my calculator? I will say it's like, it's over. Can you please stop? It is, depending on the cycle, because this is so complicated. It's, it's thousands and thousands of dollars per visit. And Blue goes, how many visits do you have a month? He probably has like, two one to two chemo actual tr chemo treatments per month but then he goes to like two other appointments per month that are like doing blood work or other sorts of treatments it's very very expensive the gofundme that you guys donated to for blue is the only <laughs> the only way we're able to even afford his chemo so thank you again for that Bye. I love that this dog has been perfect all day. And as soon as I get on live, he's like, it's time to be a menace, mom. Blue is eight. Blue. Hold on, sorry guys, I'm trying to, uh... Catch up. Thank you! Oh my gosh, you guys, I will. I'll go get blue raw treats right after this. Thank you, Tracy. What's next after Alaska? Continuing the 50 state road trip. I gotta figure out where I'm going, you guys. Got to figure out where I'm going because I have so many things. I have so many. Angela, thank you. Oh my gosh, you were so nice. You don't have to do that. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, I have so many. By the time I'm done in Alaska, there's so many things in the spring coming up. <laughs> I have to go to, I have to be out west for. So it's going to be, I'm going to be all over the map for the next six months. Like I kind of wanted to just get out of Alaska and then like spend six months going in a nice straight line somewhere. But now I'm going to have to be popping back and forth because like I have to, I'm going to, uh, should I even be saying this? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say where I'm going, but I have things coming up. I have events I have to go to. So anyways. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, is there any way to do a yearly thing to the membership? I don't know. That would be through YouTube settings uh, if they let you. I don't think so, though. D, thank you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Stop. You're so nice. Thank you for praying for blue. That means the world to us. Did I fix my windshield wipers? I did not. Because actually since the last video, the entire motor has stopped working. They just don't even work anymore. What's the coffee of choice tonight, Christian? It's what I bought you when you were here, the brown sugar shaken espresso. So. Your whole family watches the vids together? Thank you, that's so nice. Blue? No. Come here. You guys know how every dog has a vice? Blue's vice is that he's a counter surfer. Lay down. Down. And out of all the professional training he has gone through, I can't, I'm sure if I really spent time I could, but I cannot train Blue out of counter surfing. It's his one big vice. If you ever need a camera girl to travel around with you for free, you're in. Hey, I would love that. I have always said most YouTubers hire an editor when they get ready to hire somebody. And I would rather hire somebody to film, to like set up shots for me and fly my drone while I drive and like get all the outside shots. I would much rather hire a filmer because I love editing. So yeah, for sure. Come film for me. I would love that. <laughs> Oh, Blue does not only jump on the counters, he will, like when my dad and brother were here, we got an Airbnb and we had like a pizza in the corner. Thank you, oh my gosh. Thank you, Evelyn, you're so nice. That's so generous of you. We had a frozen pizza on the, I pushed all the way to the corner of the back of the counter and Blue somehow got it and ate it. So yeah, he's ruthless. You're from Sparta, oh my gosh. I feel like next time I go home, I'm gonna run into so many of you. I used to work in Sparta. Blue is so sweet, blue is a terror. Oh, I'm glad you ordered St. Knickerdoodle, that's awesome. You saw me in Wasilla driving one day? That's funny. I am in Wasilla a lot, so that makes sense. I've seen a lot of people in Wasilla, actually. A lot of people in the valley up here. Oh my gosh, I just got something in my eye. You're an avid off-roader and overlander. <gasps> Stop. Do you have a rig you could just trail me? Uh, DM me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although I, I actually am, I might, I might be making a little higher this year. I might be making a little higher this year. Angela, thank you. You don't have to give me money. You're so kind. How much longer does Blue have? He has until at least through February, but it could be longer because he's on a break right now. So that probably extended us a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's something in my eye. Favorite TV shows? This year I've been loving political shows like um, House of Cards and Scandal. But I'm not really a huge TV show person. I also love the ones that you can just uh, rerun like The Office and Friends. Ugh, oh, they're the best.
Why did you? Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like this chair is gonna fall. I'm in this Airbnb and it's like nice, it's cute, but it's like everything is put together not well. And like everything's kind of falling apart. Like the floor is falling apart. Like the lights don't really work. This chair feels like it's gonna break. So if I fall through the floor, you know why. Why did you edit out so many of your awkward hee hees? I love, hold on, I have to be a mother really quick. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Enough. He's being naughty. Um, I kept some of them in. It's just obnoxious when like every two seconds I'm like, <laughs> it's like, shut up. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so. Sounds like you got the sniffles. No, I just, my nose is still severely broken. And anytime there's any sort of weather change or like when it's cold out, I just, I have a collapsed nostril still, so I can barely breathe. So anytime there's any sort of congestion, I, I'm just like congested. Nikki, hi. How did I break my nose? When I was two years old, I fell down a flight of st- Lay down. Lay down. Stop being difficult. Um, when I was two years old, I fell down a flight of stairs and landed in a railing and cracked the side of my face. And then I was so young that, this is what my doctor explained to me, that my face plates grew over the trauma. Does that make sense? <laughs> so it's like, I guess worse or something. I don't know. Oh, what am I missing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was so young, I don't remember it. Um, I actually didn't, I didn't even know that my nose was broken until, oh my gosh, thank you. You're so nice, thank you. I didn't even know my nose was broken until I moved to Colorado and the air was so thin up in the mountains that I couldn't breathe. And then I went to a doctor because I was like starting to faint all the time. And I went to a doctor and they were like, oh, it's because you barely get oxygen when you breathe through your nose. And this is the worst trauma we've ever seen in 20 years. And I was like, oh, cool. Did I see Eamon and Bex a baby? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them. They're they're like one of the only YouTubers I watch and I feel by fell, do you mean Christian pushed you? <laughs> Probably. Although Christian liked me up until I was like five and then he started hating me. So that was before his hate era. Um, but yes, I'm so excited for Eamon and Beck because I'm really invested in, in their journey and I just feel so like emotional for Beck after her cancer journey that she had her baby. Oh, I'm so happy for them. I love them so much. You guys, thanks for complimenting my eyebrows, but they're so bad right now. I need them done really, really bad. <laughs> What's lies, Christian? Huh? What's lies? Pizza for blue. Oh my gosh, you're funny. Thank you. Any tips for a gal struggling in her mid twenties? Heck yeah. What are you struggling with specifically? Cause I've been to every point of the struggle bus in your twenties. Do I watch Kara and Nate? I don't, but I know who they are and I've heard great things about them. Thank you, Angela. Oh my gosh. You're so nice. You don't have to give me money. You don't have to. Ouch, Christian. Do you ever train blue? Yes. I do. Hold on, sorry.
struggling to find a career path. I've had every job in the book. I think that is so common for people in their 20s, but I would say like go after your passion that and I know that's so broad but like what do you genuinely love to do every single day and what doesn't feel like work to you whatever does not feel like work pursue that and figure out how to monetize it or find somebody that you can learn from go find a mentor work for them like making friends in your industry is going to be a good thing for you too because you can just like it's they always say it's like who you know but just life is too short to do anything but what you love to do. It's just too short, you know? Don't let society tell you that you have to go to college and work a nine to five. Maybe working a nine to five is what you want to do. I'm not saying there's anything against that. But I'm just saying, like, if if your passion is just, just do what you love to do, okay? And that's an order. Yeah, what would you do for free? Absolutely. I used to pay to do this before I ever got paid to do it. I used to go broke to do this before I ever made money. So. Are you married? I am not. How old are you? I'm 29 and I found two gray hairs today and it's all downhill from here. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, Still doing exactly what I'm doing, but I'll probably, I'm not gonna be doing the 50 state road trip. I'll be probably international or something. I hopefully will have a ranch by then. So I have a home base and I hopefully have horses again. Do you know Nikki, she just did a donation with an underdog. Yeah, actually, I we talked about, um, her and I are like online friends. We talked about it in uh, DMs before the video posted. Like, I think she got her new dog a couple months ago and we talked about it back then. Her new dog is so cute. But I'm, yeah, I'm really excited for her. We both love underdog and have such a passion for them. So it was really cool to see another YouTuber give them some, uh, more like exposure you know what i mean so we can just save more dogs save all the dogs <sighs> see why do i do that why do i do that it's such a reflex why are people moving away from michigan i don't know Good question. Michigan's the best state in the USA. Going to underdog in March. <gasps> hey, I will be maybe around that area in March too. I don't know though, but probably. <laughs> Wait, why are you going in March? Tell me why you're going in March. What are you going in March for? Is there a certain event you're going to that rhymes with? I don't even know how to make it rhyme. Never mind. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you got are you saying that you're going this year for East for Jeep Safari? Cause I'll see you there. Or you guys can't tell anyone. Okay, to the thousand people watching, y'all gotta keep a secret. <laughs> yeah, I do um my gone Jeep and crew is going, obviously. And, um, I am 
<clears throat> staying with them and meeting up with them. I just don't know. I don't know if I'll have Poe with me, but I definitely will be there for our Easter Jeep Safari Week. I just don't know if I'm renting a Jeep yet or taking Poe. Who's your football team? The Lions, bruh. We're actually doing so well this year. Twenties don't suck. Don't say that. Embrace it. Embrace it because you'll never get that time back. Don't spend your twenties hating them. My dad needs to be in my videos more. Yeah, I would say the same thing. You know, it took me so long to get him on a video. Like so much. Even when he was coming to Alaska, um, he was like, you're going to have to film around me. Like, I won't be in a video. You're gonna have to film around me. I was like, dad, <laughs> this is not happening. Sorry. Yeah, no period in your life sucks. See, hold on. I gotta blow my nose. I'll be right back. Hear the elevator music. <laughs> it's like I never left. Bubby, it's just not the time right now, you know? He's like, I had to wait till you were busy. <laughs> you would love to see a video of me in New Mexico. I have some up. My uh, underground bunker video is in New Mexico. And that was like one of my favorite videos of the year. <sighs> Even though it didn't really do well, but that's okay. Win some, you lose some. Have you seen any grizzlies in Alaska? Yes, I have in the uh, animal cons conservation. Bubby, no, no. This dog is so cute. How can you get mad at him? Were you super adventurous in your younger years too? Yeah, I've just always been ultra independent. And then I loved travel. And as soon as I started working and making money, I was in Europe any chance I got. So, yes. <laughs> Does Blue still eat chicken feet? That's so funny. Um, no, he doesn't. I went from... Um, making all of his food myself to finding a company that like prepackages it and sends it to me. So it's all like pre-ground and stuff like that, which is just easier for me on the road. So I'm not holding chicken feet in my freezer. Um, yeah. Where can we send you packages? I don't have a PO box right now. So unfortunately there's nowhere to send me anything. Although Matt Skinner has been saying he'll send me coffee for months now from Australia and he hasn't, so. So Matt, what's up with that? I can't wait to try this Australian coffee. Do I ever get lonely? Literally, literally never, never. I think there's actually something emotionally wrong with me. <laughs> I never, ever, 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 ever get lonely. There's not a day on earth that I'm ever just like, man, I feel so sad. I wish I had someone to hang out with. I just, I could have not, this sounds so bad, but I'm just being honest. Like I could not have seen my parents or my family for five years. And like, of course I like love them and would like love to see them and stuff. But I, I would just never like wake up crying and be like, wow, I am so lonely. I just, I'm so content. 
And like once I see everybody, I'll be happy and I love being around them. And like there's nothing like my friends and family. I'm so rot or die for them. But I'm just so happy alone. I don't know. What's the thing that surprised you the most about Alaska is how nice the people are. Nicest, nicest people. And I'm from the Midwest, okay? I'm from like nice people land. live she was brought to you by better help that's funny that was funny remember when you fixed your bumper on rue yeah when i just kicked it back into place oh the good old days did i ever get my diesel heater running uh the chinese one no it broke it broke so updates coming on that whole situation in the new year. Thank you. You painted the entryway at Yukon River Camp? That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I know, it's like my bubby uh, wrapper shirt. Spooky stories from camping? I don't have any. I'm also so absolutely oblivious. I bet you some shady stuff has happened around me and I'm just like in my truck like, dee, 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 like editing. I just don't notice anything. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got an incoming call from somebody in Russia. <laughs> so my uh, Russian spies are contacting me. Blue's feeling good. Thank you. Oh my gosh, my brows are so bad right now. Don't look. Just pretend they're not there. KGB, yeah, how'd you know? You're going to be in Grand Rapids next weekend. <laughs> what a quinky dink. How many siblings do you have? Uh, do any of them have a YouTube channel? No, uh, neither of them do. I have an older brother named Christian and a younger sister named Emily. And we are all, it's funny, we're all full biological siblings and we always get, everybody always thinks that we're not related. Genetics, man. I have chat lag, maybe. What are you so huffy puffy for, bub? <laughs> He's so mad about this toy. 
Music taste question? What was the music? Sorry, what was the music question? My mouth isn't lined up when I talk. I think it's because I got that incoming call. Hey, Bubby, lay down. Is it lagging, guys? Let me know. <clears throat> what do I like to listen to music-wise? It just depends on the mood. I listen to a lot of things, but... My 50 state road trip playlist is usually like I just update it with what I'm obsessed with at the moment. So that playlist on Spotify is usually my main. What's your go-to Starbucks order, your ride or die? A brown sugar shaken espresso half sweet. I need to start doing my hair before I get on lives because it always bugs me the entire time. Do you guys want to see my gray hair? It's up here somewhere. Can you see? <laughs> so you were in your car every day, otherwise Airbnbs, what's the catch? So before Blue got cancer, we were full-time 24 seven in my Land Rover. When Blue has chemo appointments, we get Airbnbs after for like a day or two depending on how he reacts typically because he can't be he his blood levels are so off that he can't be in any sort of inclement weather or around anybody in public for a few days because he can like catch stuff and like die from it so we always have to go to an airbnb for like a day or two after he gets a chemo treatment right now we are currently in an airbnb for a different reason that I will share later. But normally we're in Poe as much as we can be unless Blue has chemo, if that answers your question. There's no catch. You know, I just learned like recently that there are, there's YouTubers that apparently say they're going camping and then go to hotels at night. Did you guys know that? That's crazy to me. Gray hair, you're not even 30. I know, let's blame my parents' genetics, okay? <sighs> Blue does not have pet insurance. But I will be doing that with future dogs if I get them. Stress dog, yeah, I blame my ex-boyfriends <laughs> for the premature graying. <laughs> I dated some guys in my 20s that I should not have and they stressed me out. <laughs> have you been to Tampa on your 50 state road trip? Not yet, but I'm excited to do Florida. Florida will be fun. How many people have told you that you look like Aubrey Plaza? I get that a lot. I also get, I get Anne Hathaway a lot and I also get uh, Christian, uh, Christian, how do you say his name? Christian Otto Ronaldo's girlfriend. I get that girl a lot. And I also get the Kelsey Plum, the basketball player. I think it's like any brunette. <laughs> People are just like. Sorry guys, I'm trying to catch up on reading. A lot of times the comments delay and then they hit all at once for me and so I have like a million to read. Have I been to Mackinac Island? Of course. Reading is hard? Shut up, Christian. <laughs> I'm smart. 
Okay. Are you going to go to Pacific Northwest uh, Overland Expo again? I am not sure if I'll be able to hit that one this year, although that was like my favorite one that I went to. I will 100% be at Overland Expo uh, West in Flagstaff, and it's actually over my birthday weekend. So if you guys want to come celebrate me turning 30 in May, come to Overland Expo and hang out with me because I'll be camping there. All weekend. Although I'm just going to be that girl that pretends she's 29 for the rest of her life. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Danny. That's so nice of you. Have you been to Chicago? Have I ever? Oh, yeah. Where's Blue? He's right here. Finally gave up on the toy and he's passed out. Spent any time in Ontario, Canada? Yes, I have. Um, when I was younger and used to fly to Europe all the time, I always used to fly out of Toronto, so... You're a Taurus. I am. I don't know what that means, though. All I've heard is that it means I'm stubborn, which is pretty true. Hot take, least favorite place you've been? Hmm. Anywhere super hot or that's hard to camp. Hi, Dad. My dad's in here. Papa Reckless, what's up? I love Texas. I want to go back to Texas really bad. Everybody keeps telling me to meet up with the outdoor boys while I'm in Alaska. And I would actually love to because I could use the survival help. <laughs> but they're really hard to get a hold of. No, I love Texas. I love Texas. Hill country? Oh my gosh. the best yeah but I didn't go to Texas when it was super hot so You guys, I've been to the gas station in Girdwood. Does that count? How much Mariah Carey have you been listening to this week? Listen, I don't want to talk about it. It's probably going to be on my Spotify wrapped next year. <laughs> What states are left in the 50 state road trip? I'm actually uh, counting that right now because I'm editing like a um, end of the year highlights video to recap the full year. And so I'm finally counting how many states I've been through. So I haven't figured it out yet, but I will have that answer soon. Because I get asked that all the time and I never know. I'm like, I don't know, I'm like halfway. <laughs> like, I should probably know. The Alaskan coffee still strong. I ran out of it. I went through two bags in like a week. <sighs> what is your takeaway from 2023? What a great question. 
you're more capable than you think. Unless I can think of something even cheesier. <laughs> but right now, that's all I've got. Thank you. Did you ever get sick in Alaska? That is so funny that you uh, asked me that because I just got so sick the other day. Randomly, like I got the flu. Like I had a fever break and everything. It was crazy. But I also think I'm really worn down because I've been like triple filming and editing so much that I'm just like wearing myself down. You know, Blue is right here. He's right here, look at him. Look how cute he is. He's like, can you guys tell my mom to give me my toy? <laughs> Do you ever have drinks or weed while camping? I have never smoked weed in my entire life. I'm the most innocent, boring person on planet Earth. And um, I rarely drink. And if I do, it's like with my family when I go home for the holidays usually. Um, but I'm a very, very boring person. Caffeine is my only thing that I just can't stop, you know? <laughs> How old was Blue when you got him? He was eight weeks old. He was just a little baby. Did you do anything to celebrate Christmas? I edited all day. And then like I gave Blue, cause I, you guys saw in my video that I got Blue uh, like stocking stuffers. So I played with Blue and gave him all of his stuff, but Um, yeah, me specifically, I just edited all day and FaceTimed my family. Avoiding using the aloe cab for a while? No, I'm not. I love my aloe cab in the winter. Everybody's like, you should keep it closed for heat retention, but I just don't really care because the bed upstairs is so much more comfortable. So I've, I've been using it. <laughs> I don't know. I probably shouldn't, but I just, whatever. Did I ever get wipers fixed? No, they're still broken and now the motor stopped. So I have to order a new part to fix it and then I have to take my dash apart to fix it and Joel is gonna FaceTime me and help me put it all back together. So that'll be on a video some point in January. I didn't FaceTime you, fool. Christian. What are you talking about? Oh, I didn't FaceTime you for uh, <laughs> Christmas? Yeah. Well, you didn't FaceTime me, okay? I'll FaceTime you guys later. <laughs> yeah, I have been rain my windows. Actually, that's the only way I can drive. Sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Because I'm a night owl. Have you run into Timmy from Truck House Life? No, but I have talked to him on Instagram. 
but I have not ran into him. I've never run into another YouTuber in person. Is that true? Yeah, not like on the road. Not like randomly on the road. I've met people at like Overland Expo and stuff, but never just at a gas station, you know? Hi, Genesis. Hello, hello. Thanks for watching the videos. What do you do to keep yourself from getting bored? I don't really get bored because I feel like I always have so much work to do. Do I leave pole running at night? I don't. Power of invisibility or flight? Invisibility, 100%. Hmm. Dream camping gear or tech gear? That's a great question. I would have to think about that. When do you plan on retiring from YouTube? When nobody wants to watch my videos anymore. And even then I'll probably just keep posting them. <laughs> so never. I don't know, I've, I love creating videos um, over anything. So I feel like even like, I, I, the travel book would never leave me, but even if it did, I would just still create videos doing something else, just because of, for the love of it. I would probably, like, if one day I woke up and got sick of traveling, I would probably buy a ranch, rescue a ton of animals, and then I would just start making videos about me doing ranch work and rescuing animals. <laughs> like, I don't know. And camping in the mountains in my backyard. Like, that's probably what I would do. Am I a good drone pilot? I like to think so. Favorite Whitney song? I want to dance with somebody. Obviously. What a banger. What an absolute banger. What's your drone flight to crash ratio? Mm. Okay, my drones have fallen out of the sky twice, but that was not my error. That was motor errors. So I have probably crashed my drone like mm, three, four times. And they were like mini little tiny crashes. It wasn't anything crazy. Any share songs making it into the playlist? You know, I'm not a huge share person and it's not because I don't like her. I just don't think I've been like exposed to her music really, if that makes sense. What's your favorite state so far? Alaska, 100%. Love Fleetwood Mac. The weather is cold. It's a negative something right now, I think. Favorite Beastie Boys album other than License to Ill? Because you know that's like my main one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like for me, License to Ill is just number one and then everything else is number two. That's such a lame answer, but I'm just, I listen I listen to License to Ill like 98% of the
Which song do you know all the words to? All of them. All of them. Unlicensed to Ill. I could rap Paul Revere in my sleep with barely a beat in the background. Or I don't even need a beat. You could just wake me up out of a sound sleep and put a gun to my head and be like, rap Paul Revere by the BC Boys right now. And I'd be like, <laughs> just pop off. Paul Revere is so good. I used to pull up to high school blasting that in my brother's like smashed Toyota Corolla with like subwoofers that took up the back seat. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. I thought it was so cool. Hold it now. You guys, should this just turn into a BC Boys fan page? Oh my gosh. Are you going to Overland Mountain West in Colorado in 2024? If so, can you autograph my rig? You don't want me autographing your rig. It would ruin it. <laughs> it would just ruin it. Um, I don't, the only uh, Overland Expo I'm planning on going to is Flagstaff in May. If I happen to be in the area of any of the others, like naturally in the area, or if it's not too far out of my way, I'll swing through. But, um... I'm not planning to go to any others. Christian, stop saying I should rap Paul Revere. I'm not gonna put everybody through that. Have I ever been to more expo? I have not. What is that? Tell me about it. Maybe I should go, should I go? What states do you have left on the 50 state road trip? I have so many random ones I have the east coast majority of the south and like random middle states but then i still have like um the dakotas i have wyoming or no i've i've been to wyoming yeah i got robbed in wyoming or burglarized or whatever um or was that right yeah those grand tetons i don't know i gotta i gotta look it up I love South Dakota. I've been to South Dakota before. Just not on the technically on this round of the road trip. <laughs> when do I plan to return to Michigan? <laughs> like on the road trip or just to visit family? Because on the, on the road trip, it'll be a minute. But there's a possibility that uh, two dinguses might, might be going home to visit some family soon. Might be leaving tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Blue's looking at me like, you're so dumb. <laughs> have I tried gold prospecting? No, but I should because one of my all-time favorite shows is Gold Rush. We're all millionaires. We just got to dig it out of the ground. I know. He's like, I just want my toy back. <laughs> you guys, stop putting Beastie Boys lyrics in the chat because it's all my, uh, like, my head is just responding. <laughs> Parker Schnabel, not a fan. Not a fan, okay? I think he was a bratty teen on that show. But Todd Hoffman, <laughs> you know that, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told this story before, but the reason I named Blue, Blue is partially after Gold Rush because there's a scene where um, Todd Hoffman's dad gets a new Aussie and he's an all, all like almost 
not almost all, but it's very, very common for Australian Shepherds to have blue eyes. And he got this little puppy with blue eyes and he's like, we named her Bluebell because blue eyes are real rare in a shepherd. And it was like so funny to me at the time because it's not rare at all, but he named his dog Bluebell. <laughs> I was with my friends at the time watching that show and I was like, if I ever get an Aussie, I've got to name it Blue. So it kind of came after that. Thank you. Please do a full video in, in that accent. I can't. I would get demonetized on YouTube. They would be like, you know what? You just don't deserve to be on the platform anymore. You're too annoying. I'm already on the brink of that. So how's Blue doing? He's good. He's resting up. Uh, New Year's plans. Um, listen. Did I go home for Christmas? No, I'm in Alaska right now. But <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to hide it or like why I'm being weird about it. But Blue and I are going home to tomorrow night. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing for New Year's. We're gonna be in Michigan for like a week and I'm taking a full, this is the first time I've done this in forever, but I'm taking like a full week off. So that's why I've been killing myself because I've been having to like triple film so that I have enough content to post for the week that I'm gone and then the week that I get back. So I'm not like stressed when I get back. So yeah, I'm not going home for Christmas, but it'll be like a couple days after. And then I'm staying through the new year and then coming back. No, you guys will have videos. That's what I'm saying. I, I pre-filmed and stuff ahead of time. So like there'll still be videos posting while I'm home. But once I'm home, I'm taking like, <laughs> like an actual week off. So... Do you get frightened at night in the owl cab? Never, but I'm not a good judge of that stuff, you guys, because I'm like never scared. I'm like delusionally optimistic. I'm not saying it's good to be like this, it's not. Like you should probably be, you should be more worried than I am. I'm just like, <laughs> like I just, I'm always like, everything's fine. Yeah, I mean, I get gut reactions and I'll leave if I need to, but Christian, oh my gosh, get out of here. Why are older brothers such trolls? Do I ever miss Rue? I don't. Hi! Hey, truck house life is in here. I just saw your trip in negative 60. You are nuts. You are crazy. Poe would have been dead on the side of the road for like two weeks. When are you going to do some real camping? You must be new here. Angela, thank you. Um, sorry guys, I'm catching up on comments. My brain is like moving at a colossal pace. 
I'm so funny sometimes. Thanks. I think I'm just kind of stupid and it charms people for whatever reason. My partner and I are hitting the road in March. Any tips for us and our channel? Um, tips for you, specifically like just the road life. Um, just always like plan, like have a plan for everything. Be smarter than I was when I first started because I, I was winging it way too much and it just got me into like trouble sometimes. Thank you, John. As far as your channel, just be authentic to you. Don't feel like you have to do what everybody else is doing. Like people will resonate with authenticity and who you are. So just be exactly who you are. Don't worry about like the field or what you are seeing being posted. Matt, don't encourage him. <laughs> That's so funny. Rowing across the land, kicking up sand. Sheriff's posse's on my tail because I'm in demand. Oh my gosh, I won't stop. Oh, it's such a good song. You guys, the Beastie Boys? I need to buy some merch. I don't have any Beastie Boys merch. That should be illegal. When's the next time I'm coming through Arkansas? I have no idea, guys. My uh, 50 state road trip is just... It's like whatever is, you know, up next. And so much changes. Like, it's different when you are living out of a vehicle, but you're in one state or like you're truck camping around your hometown. Like that's a lot different than me going to all 50 states. Like so much changes. The timeline that I have for everything is just never what it ends up actually being. And then, like I said, like in the spring, I have some stuff I have to go to. Like I have to go to Overland Expo. I have to go to Easter Jeep Safari Week. I don't have to, I get to. Like I'm very excited to do those things. But like, let's say I wanted to go tackle the East Coast after Alaska. I can't go all the way to Maine at the end of February because in two weeks I'd have to go all the way back to Moab for Easter Jeep Safari Week. You know what I mean? So a lot of planning gets shifted around because I always have to like end up somewhere else. So that's why you're like, when are you going to come back to this day? I'm like, I, your guess is as good as mine. I have no clue. Stuff is always changing. So, but I'm so, here's my issue is I'm so drawn to anything mountainous. And I'm also so in love with Alaska now that I've been here this long that I'm already planning like, okay, so if I can, if I get down to the lower 48 and then I do all this stuff that I have to do in March and then I do these states throughout the summer and the fall, I could come back to Alaska next September. Like I'm already like, when can I come back here? It just, I could just keep making the road trip live on forever. It's never going to end. Thank you, Autumn. You can see me moving to Alaska. I could see it too. Honestly, I would love to buy property up here and just have a little cabin and somewhere that I can like pit stop and come up here for a few months out of the year. I would love it. Love it. What do you think of the new Defenders being advertised? They're not Defenders. It's like the Broncos... I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Whatever. It's like the Bronco Sport. You know, the Bronco Sport isn't a Bronco. It's like a glorified Jeep Renegade. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's not how I feel about the new Defenders. Like they're okay, but they're not like the cool OG Defenders. You wouldn't live anywhere other than Alaska. See, that's how I feel. And my dad has been pressuring me so much to buy a place on the Kenai Peninsula. So I'm getting like pressure from the family as well. Do I ever think of replacing Poe? Literally never. I will have that truck until it is a rusty frame in my backyard. I will keep replacing engines and frames and anything I need to to keep that thing alive. I love it. It's like one of my dream rigs. So I will, I might get like a second vehicle or like I might add to the fleet but I would never replace Poe ever <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Is it possible to insulate your truck? It is. I just have done a very poor job of it. Wait, what? Two acres is 10K and okay. You know what? I'm gonna DM you after this. We're gonna talk. That's crazy. I'm in Willow all the time. I shouldn't say that. I'm not in Willow all the time. I'm, I've never been to Willow. <laughs> never been. Don't know what it's like. Who gifted you blue? Um, my friend Matt. Matt Doan. Best guy ever. He got so sick of me talking about Aussies that he was just like, shut up, here is an Aussie. Stop talking about it. And I was like, okay. Was that tent really as warm as you made it seem? Yes. It was like, I felt like I was being cuddled all night. It was amazing. Wait, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you. Random honks? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Have you gone to Denali? Denali? Yes, loved it there too. When did I start going by Rhea? It's a family nickname. So it's, I've been called that my whole life. What's your favorite area of California? Hmm. Like Black Mountain area. Mojave Desert where there's all that off-roading. Ugh, Anza Borrego, stop. So good. <laughs> My dad's in the chat telling everybody to go to Alaska. Dad, is it not still your favorite place on earth since your trip here? Only four hours of sunlight, that's true. I've been slamming vitamin D pills. Like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Coffee, aren't you, gonna, aren't you gonna be up all night? I actually have to be because I have so much editing to get done tonight. It's my zodiac sign, I'm a Taurus, whatever that means. Stubborn and loyal, I guess, which is true but I think everybody thinks they're like their sign, right? So you could tell me two other things and I'd probably be like, sure. Oh, my back hurts. Scoliosis is no fun.
Do you think you'll ever add an intro back into your videos? Probably I kind of do an intro now, but. Angela, thank you. What are some good old places to eat in Grand Rapids? We were doing food tours with my daughter. Um, okay, so. Okay, let me think. Um, it depends on like what you're going for. Um, dad, little help here. Anything in the Amway is like bougie. So if you are looking for like a really expensive, bougie, nice restaurant to go to, go to any of the restaurants in the Amway Grand Plaza. Uh, my dad and I love Pietro's on 28th Street. And oh, Cena's in the chat. Do you like my t-shirt? <laughs> I told them all that you sent it to me for Christmas. Uh, food in Grand Rapids, what else? What else, what else? Where do I always go? Where do I always go? Where do I always go? Dad, where do we go in Grand Rapids? For food. Real Food Cafe. Um, what was that other place we were talking about yesterday? Where is Poe? Poe is outside. What is that one? Schnitz Deli? Dad, what was that one, like French one that we go to with grandma? Dad, French, you literally, it's on Cherry, Cherry Street Inn, Cherry Street Inn, Cherry Street Inn, go there, that's good food, that's what I was talking about, right, 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 Madcap Coffee's, I, I prefer, uh, is it Green Lantern, or what's the one downtown that's like two blocks from it, <laughs> But if any of you are in Grand Rapids, I will be frolicking downtown uh, all of this coming weekend. So you'll probably spot me. <laughs> Christian, let it go. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. That is so kind of you. You guys don't have to send me money. Will you ever take Blue to Mackinac? Blue's been to Mackinac a ton, a ton. I took him there for the first time when he was like six months old and we have gone. Uh, maybe like five times since then. Yeah, we go there all the time. You work downtown Grand Rapids, oh my gosh. Well, you might see me frolicking with my friends this weekend. What's dinner tonight? I don't know. I don't know that I'll eat dinner tonight. I don't really have anything. With me. Have you ever been to Lake Tahoe? I have. I love it there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Cena, if you're on my live, you're texting me and I can't check my texts while I'm on live. So I have no idea what you're saying. No idea. Oh, hi puppy. Hi puppy. What's going on?
Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. He's so pretty. He's... All right, fine. We'll give it... He's been so good. Guys, we have to give him his toy. This is what he's been whining about. Hold on. How do I... How do I... How do I flip this? Sit. <laughs> look at the focus. Good job. <laughs> I've not dropped my location, Cena. Well, maybe I have. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Look how cute that dog is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Tiffany, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys are so nice. Have you been to Asia? I haven't. I haven't been dropping my location. I said where I'm going this weekend, but I'm not. I'm going home. And I'll be with like all of my friends this weekend. So I'm not too worried about it. It's not like I'll be alone in the woods and giving away my location. Can you make longer videos? No, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I would if they like, if people watch them, I guess, but. Where's your dream place to take Poe? New Zealand in the UK. Cause I have to take Poe back to his homeland. That's gonna be so cool. And I, ha New Zealand is like my bucket list forever. So. Will we ever see a road trip across South America? No, because my father will not allow that. <laughs> I would I would get grounded, so. Thank you. Blue got his toy stuck. Did you get it? Do you plan on videotaping your visit home? I might. I was actually thinking of maybe bullying my mom into doing a video with me back home, like camping, car camping somewhere with her, but we'll see. We shall see. I'm sure I'll video like some of the process just so when I like mention that I went home in a video, I can like show footage of me being back home. But I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of going home to like take a full week off and like see my family and like, there's a lot of people that blue, like this sounds like so cheesy, but there's a lot of people that blue hasn't seen since he was diagnosed with cancer. Like all of my best friends that blue is like obsessed with. Um, and stuff so like this trip is kind of just like a going home moment too just so we can all like be around family and take a true week off and like you know stuff like that so i don't know that i necessarily want to film a video just because i want to like be in the moment with all the people i love but yeah you have no idea the people you're about to see you're gonna freak out blue's gonna freak out Blue's number one. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. 
Blue's number one human on earth above me. Blue's number one human ever in his life that he would die for is my best friend, Nicole. And I, when I tell you, like, he freaks out over, like, my mom and my sister. There's a lot of people that Blue loves that he freaks out over. But, like, his soul leaves his body when he sees Nicole. Like, he pees all over the place. He loses control of his bladder. <laughs> he howls, like, from the depths of his soul. It's like, it's like his soulmate. And he would, like, leave me for Nicole in, like, two seconds. Blue, like, Blue doesn't care about anybody like he cares about uh, my best friend, Nicole. So I can't wait for, like, him to see her and stuff like that. So should, anyways, long story short, should be a good trip home. Yeah. You're going to see your aunt, Nicole. You don't even know. You're going to freak out. <laughs> Look at this dingus. You have to film that? I probably will. Yeah, I'll still be I'll still be posting. Like I have videos scheduled to upload already for the days that I'm gone. So like it's not like you guys will miss anything on YouTube, but I just probably won't be as present on Instagram. I know, Bubby. You're so cute. How'd you come up with the name Poe? Because there's ravens on the doors. And I love literature, so Edgar Allan Poe, the raven. <laughs> See? <laughs> when you're back in Michigan, go snowboarding at Boyne. I probably, I'm not gonna have time to. I'm just gonna be with friends and fam out and about. You are the cutest dog alive. Who's your favorite author? Jane Austen. Recommend BF Goodrich KO2s? Absolutely. I'll probably never run anything else, to be honest. Instagram or YouTube, pick one. YouTube. If you could collaborate with any YouTuber, who would it be? Oh my gosh. Um... Wait, that's so hard. Um, probably, probably like, oh, I don't know because like my favorites don't really, they're not like doing what I'm doing. Like I would love to like collab or just actually, I'm just gonna change that question, question to who would I wanna meet? And who I would wanna meet would be like Peter McKinnon and Maddie Hapoya because I feel like they're like my older brothers of, photography and YouTube or Eamon and Beck. Yeah, those are my, that's my answer. That's who I would want to meet. How did I learn to drive manual? Um, my, I was taught by my aunt when I was 15 and she scared me. She scared me to death because this is not an aunt that's very forgiving. <laughs> and she was like, you're not allowed to stall. And I was like, okay. And so I got scared into like, doing it well. But I learned on a Ford Ranger. I know it really should be my slogan. Do you want me to throw that? Oh, oh my gosh. Come here. Come. Bring it here. Come. Come. Get your toy. Okay, drop. Good boy.
You guys, I fell the other day uh, and my knee is like pretty messed up from it. Do you still have a big cutout of Rip? <laughs> That's so funny that you remember that. Yeah, it's actually at home. I meant to uh, put it in Poe. I was gonna do this whole bit all year with this. My dad for Christmas last year got this big cutout of Rip Wheeler from Yellowstone. And I was gonna like bring him along as like my road trip boyfriend, you know? And like buckle him in and stuff. And I, I left in um, January like without him. He's still at my mom's house, so. Maybe I should fly back with him. That'd be funny. But yes, I still have it. Just not with me on the road. <gasps> go! Go! All right, you guys. It has been over an hour and a half, so I'm going to let you guys go. Bubby, come say goodbye. Say goodbye. Go. Go. Ooh. Bob says bye. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been fun. Hope everybody had a good holiday and has a great new year. We'll catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs> I'll never stop. Okay. Bye.